So one of the things that drew me to this platform and to this organization specific is that it is looking to address the global interest. It isn't specific to a patient, it isn't specific to a provider, it's the entire infrastructure around the care and treatment of cancer. Because it's global, because there are no borders for uh, disseminating the information of what is out there now, what are we doing, what are we going to be doing, and what is the roadmap, how, when is the timeline for what we're doing and how we're going to get there. This platform, this organization, in my mind, has the greatest possibility of reaching out and educating. And that's, I can't overemphasize the term educated because we're not talking about just patients being educated, we're talking about providers. They're going to be the drivers. They're going to be pounding on the industry to say, I get it, you've got stuff, I can use it, but I don't know how, I don't know how to access it, I don't know how to support it, you've got to help me out. And that's where the opportunities for business to step in and make this thing come together, coalesce, and be a conduit for getting this to these individuals. The drivers are the patients, the drivers are the providers, and you reach both of them well. So that's, I think, what's going to enable us to get further along faster. And that's very, very important because the technology says, I know no boundaries. Unless you are, you know, surrounded by lead inside of a, a, a vault 300 feet underground and you have no access to any communication, chances are we have a way to reach you and care for you and bring you into the community of care and de-isolate you as an individual because you're, you shouldn't be isolated, you're not, this is global. No one should fight this alone. No one should face the No one should face the face No one should face the No one should face the fight alone.